our toy camera light leak overlays to create sort of a vintage film kind of look on your photos. You can purchase these on our website at theshopdesigns.com. So first thing I'm going to show you is um, this is the folder for, of the light leak set in Bridge, um, in Adobe Bridge. And this is probably the best way to view all of them together. Um, you can see them all at the same time, which makes it easier for you to, to tell what might look good with the photo you're about to work on. So now when you find one that you want, you think might work, I have my photo open already in Photoshop. And I, I'm going to pick you know one that I think might work with the photo. So you're going to just open up the document. And you're just going to go select. You're going to go copy and paste. Um, I do Command A and Command C on a Mac. You can also just drag it over if you want onto the other layer and then close that and then you're on your photo. You do Command V to paste it. You can resize it if it's too big. This photo is from a point and shoot actually. So it's these are shot with a, a Canon uh, Mark II so they will be that size. Okay so now I have my layer on top of my photo and the next thing you want to do is change the blending mode. It's right over here in your layers palette so it starts on normal and um, you want to, the first thing that I would try would be soft light. That's usually the, the best for this type of thing. Um, you can also try overlay which is a lot more intense usually. Um, you can try screen which is a much lighter kind of a look. Um, there's also multiply which is a much darker look. So soft light um, is usually kind of in between and creates a pretty nice look. Um, so now if you don't like the way this one looks with this photo, you can, I've already opened several over here onto my layers so that I can kind of turn them off and on and see which one that I like that works with this photo in particular. So you can just kind of keep going back and forth. I actually like this one for this photo. So then the other thing that comes with this set is, is two different actions that are going to enhance the look of these light leak overlays. So I'm going to play, there's a toy camera one and a faded photo one and you're just going to hit play down here and it'll put it in a folder for you which you can change the opacity of. You can make it stronger or you can make it a lot less, whatever you prefer. It looks pretty good, kind of stronger. Um, and now I'm also going to play the faded one just so you can see what that looks like as well. Alright, so I'll turn off the other one and you can see the matte one. So I think the toy camera one looks better and so that I think I'm going to use that one with this photo. So we also have included with this is a texture, just some extra texture, which is this gray one here. So if you want to add a little bit of extra texture, you can copy and paste this into your document and put that one also on soft light or whatever you'd like. Um, soft light usually works best, but if you want a little bit more a little bit more texture, you could put it on overlay, and you can also adjust the opacity of it as well. So, so we went from just a very plain point and shoot photo to oh, I think we were using this one. There we go. To a more of a toy camera vintage look. Um, the other thing you can do if you want is um, say it doesn't work right exactly for this photo. Like say we were you wanted to use one and it's over their face or something like that. What you can do is you can create a mask by clicking right down here on your layer and then you're going to get your brush tool over here and make sure it's on black and you can adjust the size of your brush and if you don't want it to show on your subject you can just kind of brush over your subject to, to clear off some of the of the light leak effect. So if maybe there's too much color on the face of your subject but and you don't want it to show that much you can brush that out a little bit. Um, you can also change the opacity of that like if you only want to brush it out at about 50 percent you can do that. Um, so that way you know if you don't have to to worry about it being on your subject if you don't want it on your subject. The other thing you can do is transform this. So you can, so say you want this light leak to be at the top. If you just hit Command T or you go to Edit, Transform, 
then you can turn this all the way upside down and have that strip be at the top. Um, you can also play with the saturation of this. So if you, if you want to, you can go to your hue and saturation and you can bring it up, you can bring it down. And so say you want a little bit more of a stronger effect, you can bring up the saturation. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can even transform it. So if, you're, if your photo is vertical, you'll obviously want to transform it this way. Um, but you can do this as well. Like you can change the entire orientation of the overlay and have the light leak be on the left instead of the top or the bottom, which actually creates a really nice effect for this photo. So there's endless possibilities with these overlays. Um, you can combine some of them if you want. So if you wanted to have you know an extra effect, um, you can combine a couple of them. So that is just a little quick way to sort of use these. Um, we do have, if you don't know how to install actions, we do have a tutorial for that on our website as well. Um, this one is just about how to really kind of get the most out of your um, out of your overlays. So. We hope you hope you enjoy them, and again, you can get them at theshopdesigns.com.